WHO is a UN specialized agency which was established on 7th April 1948. Now, you need to pay attention to this date because this is extremely important. World Health Day is celebrated every year on 7th April. Why? To commemorate the founding. You have to keep in mind the year that is 1948 and the day that is 7th April. Now, when it comes to themes of World Health Day, you have to remember the theme of this year and the year before because at times the examiner would ask about the theme of the last year because they know that you would ask you to pay attention to the theme of this year. So they would try to trap you like that. The theme of 2023 was health for all and theme for 2024, my health, my right. It has 194 member states and its headquarters are situated in Geneva, Switzerland. It has six regional offices which work under regional directors. Its official publication is World Health Report, which is extremely important. Now, moving on to the position of Director General. All these 194 member states elect the Director General and he's generally elected for a five-year term. But he can be appointed for multiple subsequent terms. And the maximum that we've had so far is four terms for one single Director General. So we know that that's not unheard of. The current WHO Director General is Tedros Adhanam Ghebreyesus and he's Ethiopian. He's the first African to become the WHO Director General. This is also extremely important. He has occupied this position since 2017. Now just give it a thought. If he is elected in 2017, it has to be a five-year term, which means that it would, have, uh, it would get over by 20, 2022. But then he was reappointed in 22, which means this term will go on till 2027. Now, you already know that a person, the director general can be appointed for multiple subsequent terms, so that is completely possible. The highest level decision-making forum is the World Health Assembly. This is also important. The highest level decision making forum of the WHO is the World Health Assembly. Then, let us just look at the International Health Partnership. It's very important. Why? It is to improve the health of citizens in developing countries. And this partnership is administered by WHO in collaboration with World Bank. It's a group of partner governments development agencies, civil societies and others which are committed to the cost of developing, improving the health of citizens in developing countries.